Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Why am I here? Well, I learned something recently that I thought I would show off here just by doing a little tattle on something that I didn't tattle in this battle. The x knots But even though you technically have this tattle in your tattle log, the Num I mean, yeah, like you can see, number 107 is the x naught Tattle, but as you see, there's a variation to this one that's completely optional in this battle. It's the x naughts Tattle rather than the x naught Tattle. That's an x naught Platoon! Crumb commands them all! Where did they come from? Their max HP depends on their condition, but attack is 5 and defense is 0. They're gonna come at us with coordinated group maneuvers, I'm sure, but they're pretty wimpy, so we should be able to handle it, don't you think? I agree with that. In fact, I already did. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get off this backup save file and get over to the main save file now. More curtains for your enjoyment. So anyway, back on this save file, we are of course at Rogueport. Let's see what the residents have to say about this spooky ghost ship. Came back from that island alive? Mate, you're a bloomin' freak of nature. You're a master. You're a true tamer of the high seeds. You're, you're more than man than I am. You don't have anything to say about that boat, though, really. <laughs> if it weren't for you, those guys would never return. Thanks, pal. Hello, re refugee toad. Don't make your little brother worry. Be careful when you go out to sea from now on. Yeah, it's this one right here. My big brother gave back safe and sound. It's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. Doesn't that line sound familiar? It's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. Yep. <laughs> anyway, more toads here. Wow, those guys all looked excited. They didn't get rich, but I still kind of envy them. <laughs> uh, over here, yeah, look who it is with another story for us. And I got another piece of that marvelous compass at Jazafraz Town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned adventuring into an art form on that little quest. Whew. It was pretty nutty, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part do I saw you want to hear, bro? Jazafraz Town! And like I said, it's a really long... As soon as we hit Jazafraz Town, we are overcome by the glitz and glamour. This is sounding familiar. It is a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. While looking for the piece of the compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. This is sounding very familiar. I told him we couldn't since we were looking for the comp compass part, you know. But Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming Drama Slam. He said the so-called Drama Llama plague must in might in fact be one of the parts. Well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. <laughs> The script was great, but I got really hosed, bro. My role, my part, was grass. I played grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro, grass! <laughs> I just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful! <laughs> In the end, our musical was the talk of the town, and we won the drama slam. I got the compass parts I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. <laughs> the huge after party just bummed me out more, so I snuck out the back door. Wow, outside were tons of fans. My fans. Fans of grass. They swarmed me. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. Imagine, cheering for grass. I was ecstatic, bro. After that, I added the piece of the marvelous compass uh, <clears throat> which pointed north. It pointed to the rapturous ruins in Grimble Forest. Then, the voice again. Oh, my cherished Princess Eclair, how you soothe me. I would be grass for you. <laughs> I will find you. I will reach you. I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. Wow, uh, uh, sorry about that, bro. So, uh, yeah, anyway. Then I got up back on my boat. Uh, I came back to Frog Port, and here I am. Another leg of my adventure completed. And Mario wakes up. <laughs> I guess the fans of that play really liked watching grass grow. <laughs> And I must say, Luigi is a great actor, one of the finest I've seen. After this adventure, we're going on tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, Luigi will be grass. So it sounds like this part of the story was potentially true. 
Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Luigi's stories, along with him appearing in our audience at some times while he should be adventuring, kind of suspicious. In any case, this part is going to be an exploration slash catch-up part. Of, well, not catch-up part, actually. I'm pretty caught up on stuff. It's going to be an exploration part of getting stuff that I now have access to, thanks to the power of exploding with Bobbery and the boat power. So here we are. At this super secret part of town is a chest back here, which contains an HP drain badge. This is a really interesting badge. Drop Mario's attack power by one, but regain one HP per attack. Uh, over here. Starby. I don't think there's anything else over here in... Yeah, I don't think... I'm just gonna take a look-see around before going... Because I'm pretty sure I got all the star pieces in Rogueport now, so... Yeah, it looks like I am good to go. Uh, anyway, so yeah, you've probably seen that uh, panel for the longest time off to the right side there, but you were like, I don't know what the heck that thing is for... Unless, until you, like, notice that, you know, it was for... Uh, powers and whatnot, but maybe you couldn't tell at the moment what kind of panel, you know, like what it would transform you into once you got said power later on or whatnot. Uh, anyway, let's go through this portion of town and sneak over to the left side. Oh, after checking our email. <laughs> let's see what we got this time. Oh, we know who this is. Spicy! Yes, hello to you. I am Bob Olber. I have been unable to forget that savory hot dog flavor. My taste and buds are sweating in anticipation of your next spicy visit. By the way, have you heard? Dried bouquets are not flowers that have withered and gone dry. They are actually flowers that have had the clocks of their lives adjusted to tick but just a little slower than normal flowers. I hope you will take the time to stop and smell these delicate flowers. In fact, I would like you to come visit me again with the above mentioned item. Yours in spiciness, Bob Olber. No picture this time, that's kinda odd. Yeah, he's that flower guy. Uh, back in Petalburg, the one that I gave the two hot dogs to in that one quest. Anyway, I'm going to this side of town because... I have a bone to pick with a certain wall on this side of town. It just got on my nerves just seeing it all cracked like this. So it's gotta go! Yep! Definitely has to go because there's a Shine Sprite behind the wall. <laughs> Speaking of Shine Sprites, I should also uh, get to upgrading the last partner that needs an upgrade, so I should probably head over to uh, uh, Merlin, which is right over to this side of town, of course. There's also a couple of other things I'll be picking up in this part on my way through doing some side quests and whatnot, you know, jumping from place to place uh, via the Trouble Center, as well as something that's going to... Uh, be, be upgradable, I guess you could say, in this part, regarding your partners. Oh, what impeccable timing! Yes, this was destined. When I consulted my star charts, I saw a portentous sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed you, lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately. <laughs> But I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. So, uh, yeah, I gotta go back over to Hooktail Castle a little bit later to do some stuff. Uh, anyway, let's do an upgrade to Bobbery. Yes, I couldn't upgrade this because I couldn't get back to uh, Rogueport until the end, the end of the chapter, just like I said when I began the chapter. Shazubi, Shazibi, e e mm -hmm. I shall go. Alright, so I'm gonna go over to Hooktail Castle and I'll see you there. Oh, oh, oh! I just remembered something on the way there. I'm not even going to bother cutting from that last spot. Blow this up. Now I can show you something back here. This pathway leads to the house of someone known as Chet Rippo. Yeah, it's like a name of Cheat Ripoff. But he's actually a pretty handy guy, depending on how much you screwed up your stats. <laughs> 
<laughs> Welcome to Chet Ripple's Adjustment House. This is where you come to adjust your abilities or your partner's ranks. If you want some adjustments done, talk to me from the other side of the table. Seriously, why do people want to talk from across the table? <laughs> You've come quite a ways. This is Chet Ripple's Adjustment House. If you think you want to change your abilities or your partner's ranks... Actually, I didn't come quite a ways... Because I just came from Rogue Board, bombed the wall, and went through the pipe. Okay, well, forget it. And if you want to change your abilities or your partner's ranks, then I can adjust those things with a low, low price of 39 coins. So who needs some adjustment? <laughs> Since I can't adjust partners, he's going to be like, I can't adjust your partner's rank right now. So I'm going to say me. And for what you can do here is make your... Uh, swap your stats around basically so what you do is you you can increase your one stat and then reduce the stat of another like say like w say for example i screwed up the flower points i need more flower points and i would uh select flower points of course and then he's going to ask me to reduce one other stat so he's a way to rebalance your stats basically and yeah he, so if you need to adjust your stuff, go to him and get it adjusted. But of course, you're gonna need to pay for it. It's, it sort of balances out overall because you know you can't like adjust your stats to perfectly suit to whatever challenge you are going for, unless you have a lot of coins. And I highly doubt you're gonna have that many coins overall. Uh, anyway, back over here, there's a boat panel. That's I also decided not to cut at that point because I remember this was here. This elite eventually takes you to, look at that, look at that, oh yeah, oh yeah, shine sprites. <laughs> uh, that pipe right there is inaccessible at the moment, but we'll be able to get there eventually. By the way, you can't even go past the uh, back on here. Notice that there's an ever so slight wall there, yep, that's why you can't go. Uh, past there and you can't get past a certain point there. Anyway, now I'm going to cut over to the spot in Hooktail Castle and my heater just turned on. Whoops. <laughs> Gotta turn that off too. Alright, so the hint started in this room right here. Remember the reversible stairs? Okay, so he said to go past those stairs in that so-and-so legend saying or whatever the heck he heard and uh, go up to the cursed chest, if you recall. Oh, ho, ho. that was a close one. So, cursed chest was in here. That means we got to go a little bit further than that. More specifically, the spike room. Do you recall ever seeing a cracked wall here before? Well, you might have. You might have not. I'm pretty sure you know what to do here. Yeah. If you go inside this room, oh, it's empty. Well, there's this block, I might as well hit it. Oh, I've tore the dimension apart! And got a treasure chest for my troubles. It's an apparel from Dance Dance Revolution. Okay, let's go back over to Merly now. Ah, on my way back, I decided to do a few things, starting from this pipe on the uh, east side of Roadport. Start from there and flop down here. Now from here, oh yeah. New enemies in the sewer now. I forgot that happens after chapter five. Um, well that's kind of messes with my plans a little bit, but anyway, I'm gonna go in here now. I, was, I just switched to Goombella just in case I would get into a battle with that. Now, you see those spikes? If you use Vivian like that, you can actually dodge these spikes now. Hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. If you have good timing, you can get this only in a, like, in a few uh, zips beneath the surface of the ground. And anyway, over here is a spike shield badge, which is a pretty handy badge for protecting your tootsies versus spiked enemies, which means you can now jump on stuff like spike tops. If you use the spi- Oh, you can't actually use the spikes to get back to the door. Well, that's disappointing. I've actually got to go back there doing this method. <laughs> I thought I would be able to do it like, yeah. You know, just by taking a hit and then being transported back to the door. But nope, game designers thought of everything. <laughs> All right, so here we got a, a magic Koopa. I'm going to swap over to Goombella right here and bump into it. 
before it does a first strike on me. So yeah, Magic Koopa, new enemy here. That's a Magic Koopa, you know, a Koopa Wizard. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It'll throw a lot of pain our way when using magic to help its buddies. What a creep. And when there's only one of them, it splits up into multiple copies to mess with us. Stop this thing fast and we'll be in a world of hurt. It's not actually that difficult of an enemy overall, but I'll, I'll demonstrate its uh, properties here by letting it live. <laughs> actually, I probably wouldn't be able to uh, kill it with that much ease anyway uh, at this moment in time, because there's not really all that much... Um, attack power in my arsenal, I guess you could say. I'm, I'm built mostly for defense and longevity for the sake of the walkthrough and whatnot. Uh, we're in kind of a pickle here, so I'm gonna just charge. Like, I can't attack anyway, so let's be productive. And, you know, multiply. Yep, that's what I thought. Uh, in this situation, you probably want to attack them all at once, but I can't really do that. <laughs> Whoops, I would like to charge, not... yeah. Not like... yes. You get what I'm saying here. Mm, charge... Oh yeah! Now they're all gonna attack at once. Notice that they all like join... Like all those attacks, or all the blasts, join into one. And then they, they hit. That's a easier way to tell if it's gonna hit you or your partner, basically. Uh, anyway, let's see here. What would be a simple way to figure out how to figure out which is the correct one. How about using an item like the Earthquake? So it was the front one. Alrighty. And now we are going to hammer. That those charges were kind of overkill, actually. I was just kind of uh, burning turns overall there. Anyway, now let's go back to Merle. By the way, it goes without saying that I didn't have to tattle that hammer brother at the higher floor there because, well, I already did that at the Glitz Pit, so I don't really have to bother with that. Anyway, Merly. Sup, I've got an up arrow. Here you go. Gonna dance? What's this? An up arrow. An up arrow. Up. Uh, of course! Oh! Oh, a fancier crystal ball. Okay, maybe not. It's just the Ultra Stone, so that is what the star sign meant. I picked this up at a flea market years ago and forgot it was in the attic. With this, I can power up your partners even more. Woo! That actually is uh, another crystal ball. <laughs> we are cooking now. Let me know when you're ready. When you want me to power up your Ellie's more. So yeah, I guess I. I uh, would like to do that now. So as you see, I have nine shine sprites, which means that I have the ability to power up three partners here. I think I'm going to do Koops, just because he's got uh, the, the Shell Slam, which is a really powerful move. Plus it'll power up his H... I mean, it'll increase his HP that's kind of low at 15. I mean, he's got one defense point, because, you know, he's a Koopa and all. But uh, that doesn't really cut it all that much when it comes to the fence penetrating enemies. Koops is like the power character in that it just uh, bowls over a bunch of enemies, but it can't take much of itself. It's like a glass cannon of sorts. Yes, I would like to power up more. Goombella is a fantastic partner with that multi-bonk and charge combo, so she's getting powered up, baby. <laughs> Remember, these power-ups uh, also give you uh, extra attack power on top of getting a new attack, so yeah. One more power-up. Uh, who should I do next? Probably Yosher, because it's got another multi-attack there. Uh, dodgy, dodgy is pretty nice, but it's still kind of random. Confusion is nice, but again, random. That's pretty powerful, but also very expensive to use. Uh, that might be handy for healing purposes, but I think I'll stick with the star power for now. So yeah, Yoshter it is. Yes. Go, Yoshter, go! Feel the energy! Rah! 
Oh, I actually don't think that Ultra Stone was another Crystal Ball, even though it seemed to merge with the Crystal Ball. It just seemed to be something that powers up the Crystal Ball that he does use. Alright. I may go. <laughs> and go, I shall go. Over to the Trouble Center now. So let's see. There should only be two open up at this point in the game. Mm, yes, Eve. I want you to meet and speak to someone for me. I'll tell you all about it at my house in Twilight Town. Sure, let's do this. Now here we are in Twilight Town, but I don't remember who we're supposed to talk to offhand. Um, no? No, you're not the one. You're definitely not the one. Uh, I don't think she's in a building, if I recall correctly. So I'm just going to take a look around here and... Uh, maybe she is in a building. <laughs> hey, I, extra nice city as usual. At those orb Well, thank you very much. <laughs> um, Eve in here? No, I didn't think so. I don't. I don't think Eve is the one in the shop, was it? Nah, couldn't be. Are you? Greetings. No, you're not the one. Uh. Yeah, it's basically the same thing as before. I don't remember who I'm supposed to talk to. I know Eve is a female name, though. Oh, lady. Oh, you are her. Okay. Oh, Mario. So you weren't outside. Yes, I did. Well, it's hard to talk about in front of the children. Can you step outside? All right. You finally going to get them food? <laughs> I need you to help me meet someone. His name is Podley, my former love. Uh-oh. We had the same dream, to be stars on the musical stage. We shared our dreams, and we shared a wonderful love for a time. In that cramped little apartment, we huddled together, poor but happy. But when I finally got a part in a broad room play as the leading lady, Podley left me. He left a quickly scrawled note that, that said only this. My dear, I would only dim your bright future. Farewell. Oh, Podley. Why? Why is Podley such a douche? He, did, he didn't give a letter to Bobbery, and now he messed with her. My dream was always to be with you, not to be a star that shines alone. I wanted to only shine with him. Success was nothing but hell him. I left the production while I was in, while I was in rehearsal. I forgot all about Podley and my dreams. I got married and lived the life of housewife. Happy in its quiet comforts. Except I don't feed my kids. Ever. And now, I'm surrounded by beautiful children that I never feed. <laughs> my happiness is so complete now, I had forgotten about those days. But then I heard a rumor that Polly was running a Chocola shop in Roadport. Could you please tell him that I would like to see him again? Tell him that pure-hearted Eve has not forgotten her first love. Hmm? Yes, pure-hearted Eve was my stage name. Please meet with Prodley and ask how he feels about me. Please, Mario. Uh, what if I go chat with her again? Have you met with Polly yet? Not yet, I see. Please meet with Polly. Am I talk to, talking to her through the door? I just talked to her through the door! <laughs> I guess she hasn't walked back to her place in the house yet. Hey, Mario, you're back. Get for me. Oh, I guess the kids did get fed. Um, uh, between parts. But anyway, clearly I talked to her at the point that I wanted to talk to her, except it was through the door instead of face-to-face, -face, which works. Anyway, uh, back to- wait, wait, actually, wait, 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 hold on, hold on a sec. Not back to Podley just yet. I just remembered something uh, on uh, this side here. Uh, I want to avoid stuff so I don't have to deal with it. There's a spinia down there. All right, going through this pipe and hitting the side uh where oh! elite koopa oh! that's a new enemy i should probably tattle that <laughs> uh tattle or oh, oh it's a koopa patrol not an elite koopa silly me mm, bloop, bloop. that's a koopa patrol koopa Troopa who protects himself with spiked armor max hp is six attack is four and defense is two it attacks with its shell and with its head, and sometimes charges up for a fierce move. Plus, if you take too long to win, you can call on reinforcements. Yeah, sort of gnarly, huh? It's one of the worst Bowser guys. Koopa Troopers dream of being Koopa Trolls. 
And by the way, what do you think Bowser is doing now anyway? Eating? Probably. <laughs> Probably eating bloopers. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Up oh, dodgy. Oh, I mean, uh, invisible. What am I thinking? Ah. Um. Well, uh, a simple way to take it out would be to just use an Earth Tremor. But uh, let's just run from it. <laughs> I feel like this battle is gonna take longer than it's than it's gonna be worth the show. In all honesty, so I'm gonna see how many coins I can get back from this battle that I ran from. Yes, got them all. Okay. Oh, what the heck? How did that? What? Huh? That he was behind the block and... Are you, are you cheating? <laughs> oh, maybe that's what happened the last time. He got he got around the block while I was collecting coins out in front. Okay. I guess I wasn't really paying much attention there. I was focused more on the coins than that uh, Koopa Troll. Anyway, go in here! And... Find the coins that you lost from battle. <laughs> All right, in here. This is, this leads to a rather interesting route. See this river route here? La 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 la. Do 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 do. It's going row 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 your boat. Actually, this is a sailboat, not a rowboat. <laughs> this is quite a long ways away here, but uh, uh, you can basically tell there's a warp pipe room there, another warp pipe room that we already unlocked here. And now I think you're getting the idea of the structure of the rooms in the uh, sewer here. But here, now we come to a point where we're going to visit a new room. See this right here? See this? Oh yeah, three shine sprites. Seriously. Uh, I can I actually get all those shine sprites at this moment in time? I don't think I can jump that high to do that. Um... Like that one, I can get the ones on the side, but the one in the middle, I don't know about. Hmm. I gotta uh, think about this for a second here. Oh, I see how I can do it. I can jump from the platform on top of the shine sprite. So, okay, I'm gonna get out of here and get ready to dodge. Because they're gonna start coming after me like crazy, oh god! I wanna group them all together in one spot if at all possible. Shine sprite one! Uh-oh, I'm gonna get in the battle as soon as I get out of the screen. Yep! <laughs> That's kind of unfort- Oh, maybe not that unfor unfortunate. Look at that, it's got a badge. Look at that! Look at that! This battle might be worth it after all, if I can get that badge drop after this battle. So let's try and wipe them out all in one shot. Mm. After this round, I got it. Yes! From here on out, it's pretty much just fluff. Yeah! Feel the power! Look at that one star point because I'm at such a high level that it's just not worth doing battles at this point. No badge drop! That was actually was not worth it. Shines bright! Number two, don't touch me! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. oh, you can't go on this, can you? Oh, that's interesting to know. Come on, all three of you. Good boys! Oh. Is there anything under here just out, of, oh, just out of curiosity? Like, maybe there's a block that I'm actually supposed to find. Oh. Well, that's not what I intended to do, but it's acceptable, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna run from this battle here. The, you'll notice that there's a pink spinny uh, on top of those bricks off to the right, uh, left side there. Right over here. So let's get into a battle with it, because it's a new enemy. And it's a unique one, too. This is the only place in the game where you find one, actually. It's a Spoonia. Mm, bloop, bloop. That's a Spoonia. Its body is made up of springy discs. Max HP is 12, attack is 7, and defense is 2. It may not look like much, but it's pretty tough. It won't come at you with anything too weird, so just hang in there, okay? Yeah, it's basically a, um, a regular old Spinia, except it's got much, much higher attack power and defense. So, your best shot is probably to do some defense penetrating moves, such as this. You already seen me use this before, so... 
Yeah! Really handy move. I love Earth Tremor quite a bit. If that wasn't obvious. <laughs> oh, and I still gotta show off Sweet Feast, don't I? That'll come eventually. Oh, that will come eventually. Still 6 HP left to go. Ah! See, it attacks just like a Sphinia. Alright, now what can I do here? I could, well, I could actually just do another Earth Tremor, couldn't I? Yep. <laughs> Let's do it! Will I be able to get this move twice in a row, though? That is the question. If I don't, I'm going to have to swap partners. Because it's not going to be very... I mean, Goomba's not going to be able to do anything. Oh, got it. No problem. No problem whatsoever. I'm rather consistent with Earth Tremor when I really concentrate on those star nodes. Oh yeah, now that's some experience points. Much, much better than the Sp uh, Spania Brigade, Brigade over there. Alright, so here's my plan. Get over to that platform for... I gotta time it. Gotta time it! Whoop! That uh, Shine Sprite wouldn't be that hard to get if I had something else. Ah, poopers. <laughs> Maybe I can't get that uh, right now. By the way, in case you didn't realize, I didn't take damage there because I uh, uh, had the uh, defense badge on there, so it boosts my defense by one, and yeah. Mm, yeah, I'm just gonna run. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how I can get that... Shine Sprite if I can't jump to it like I thought I could. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot! Didn't mean to do that. Disaster Zone! Oh, uh. Okay, that one's stuck in the corner. I'm okay with that. Meow. Wait, you know what? I'm gonna get that badge first. Mwah. Defend Plus badge. Yeah, we already got one of these, so it's just a copy of it. Well, I shouldn't say it's a copy. It can be stacked onto the other one to increase your uh, defense further. Alright, so that bad right there. Look at where its shadow is placed. I can't even use Koops to get that sucker. Ah! Hmm. I don't know, and I'm gonna take damage. Because <laughs> that's... yeah. Maybe I'm gonna have to come back to this badge later. Unless there is... oops. Unless there is some other thing that I'm not thinking of at the moment to get that Shine Sprite. Uh, but otherwise, I guess I'm gonna have to come back to this room... Uh, with the move that I think is because clearly I cannot jump high enough to get to that shine sprite up there at the moment So I, I guess I'm gonna have to abandon it Anyway back to Podly I've been recording for about 43 minutes now, but I'm pretty sure I don't have that much of uh, Footage once I cut out all the backtracking and whatnot of going to places. Anyway, we're back here at uh, Podley's Bar. So, Mr. Chocola Cola Master, welcome to Podley's Place, an intersection of human lives and drama, if you will. What's that you say? Hmm, what is it, Mario? Tell me, he looks so serious. Uh, what? Eve! Uh. uh... <laughs> Uh, spit it out, man! I know no such person. What? But perhaps you could tell this Eve person something. Tell her, live in the moment. And that is all you needed? Because I'm a little busy. Really now? Really now? Something about that seems... A little suspicious, like he does know her. Hmm. Alright, I gotta break the news to Eve. Have you met with Podley? Really? What did he say? Let's make up something. Oh, Podley. I knew our love could never die. Thank you, but no more. I'm a different person now. Yes, a devoted mother. Just knowing he feels the same is enough for me to know joy for all my days. Thank you so much, Mario. You breathe new life into this old girl's heart. Mommy, so hungry, food! She, oh, she, she, you didn't feed him again. Oh, we're having oh, we're having a feast tonight, kids. I have special dinners from Zesty Shop. Mario, you have one too. It's a meteor meal! Yeah! Thank you so much, Mario. You breathe new life into this old girl's heart. 
Yeah, I don't remember what happens if you choose the other one offhand, and quite frankly, I don't really feel like checking because it's been a while since I've saved, so if you'd like to check that for yourself, go right ahead. But I do wonder, though. You know, I was thinking, what's with this game and making you go back to Hooktail's castle, anyway? Like, I've been there so many times now, it's ridiculous. Uh, anyway, I didn't really show what the meteor meal is here. It's food that refills 7 HP and gradually recovers even more. So it's like a slow shroom, plus uh, uh, a regular mushroom and a little bit more, I guess you could say. Anyway, alright, next trouble here. Let's go over to Goom Goom, looking for a gal. I'm pretty happy living out here on Kilal Key, but there's one thing I miss. I need a girlfriend. Please, come listen to my request. I'm in the storeroom deep in the cave on Keel Hall Key. Sure. Uh, since we're going back to Keel Hall Key here, I guess I... Well, I guess I'll cut... No, no eh, because there's still the, the dialogue of showing... Um, Cortez, you know, going back over to the island, because we need his assistance to go back over there, because, you know, we need his boat, and he's offering his services to go back and forth to Kilal Key in here whenever we please, so, hey, Cortez, how's it going? You going to Kilal Key, amigo? <laughs> Excellent, muy bueno, to see we go, amigo, set sails, destination Kilal Key! Woo! <laughs> Greatest ghost ship in the world, and greatest pirate king in the world. Yay! <laughs> oh, I love Cortez. I don't really think Cortez is as bad of a guy as he uh, makes himself out to be overall. <laughs> I think he's... Like, he believes he, he's like this super uh, tough, dreaded, killer, pirate king of sorts, but he is a softy for someone who has respectable skill. Like, uh, oh, and, uh, l like, he was able to, uh, I mean, he, he was willing to take people off the island and back and forth, and yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Like, he didn't just offer the ride to, um, Mario because he beat him. He offered the ride to, uh, Mario and his pals. Anyway, what I'm just, uh, rambling on here. Uh, back over here in Keel Hall Key, I'm going to go... What am I doing here? <laughs> I'm going to first go over to a tree, which is... Actually, I could talk to some people here first, couldn't I? Finally got out of that cave, but I think I want to stay on this island for a while. Mm, oh, I, oh, I get all squiggly inside when I hear them piantas getting all lovey-dovey. What am I to say, right? I mean, who am I to say, right? Might be nice to be in lo loving and young, uh, young and in love. Uh, traveling... Uh, try training sometime. Uh, How's the boss, huh? You know, I just worry about that guy sometimes. Oh, Frankie, I love is larger and deeper than this ocean. <laughs> okay, new toad. Finally got out of that cave. I think I want to stay on this island for a while. Um, I wonder what Frank Francesca sees in Frankie. He doesn't seem to like much to write home to mom about to me. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I read, misread that? To write home to mom about to me. Yeah, I didn't read that uh, properly. Anyway, uh, over here. This is kind of weird. Apparently, after so-and-so chapters, I think it's after the this chapter, you know, chapter 5, you hit this tree here, you get a Keel Mango, and it replenishes 5 HP. I don't know why it's only after that chapter, I mean, after, you know, the, uh, the Keel Hall Key uh, chapter in general. By the way, there's no fuzzies here, that's weird. Uh, but it's it's there, and it's another ingredient for uh, zest uh, Zesty to use for her recipes. Anyway, I'm gonna go cut over to uh, the spot that I'm looking for in the cave, you know, Pirate's Grotto. So I'll see you there. Freaking, these cannons are back! Jeez. Wow. Oh, shoot. I thought this was the storage room they were thinking of. I took the wrong path. It must be the storage room with those moving platforms on the upper route. Oh, seriously? What a rotten day. <laughs> Oh, 
Wow. Oh, what the heck? I swear I'm pressing the jump button there. Ah, oh, there we go. I don't know what happened at that, that time. Okay, so this is the storeroom that I'm thinking of. This one right here. Yep, here he is. Hey, thanks for taking on my trouble. All the way out here, too. I know it's far. I came out here to enjoy island life, but now that I'm here, I just feel lonely. There is no one to date. I mean, no one. I'm chatting up sea turtles here. <laughs> so all I need you to do is introduce me to a nice girl. That's it. A girl, okay? I guess my type would be petite, younger than me, and pretty not drop that hot. Yeah, cute little Goomba gal would be just perfect. Please help me, please. I know of just the heartbreaker. Goombella! Hey, how's it going? Do you happen to find a cute girl for... Whoa, yeah, wow, yeah, she's cute, really cute. And that ponytail, man, perfect. Slam dunk, man. Yes, slam uh, dunk. This may be a bit soon, but I have to confess my love to this girl. That was fast. Er, uh, hi. Do you believe in love at first sight, Angel? Because you know I do, and... What are you trying to say? Just spit it out! I, I love you. I think I have loved you since before I was born. Please, go out with me. Um, ooh, uh, jeepers, this is awkward. D I, uh, I'm going out with Mario. Honest, I'm sorry. You're really cute, though. <laughs> D what? You have a boyfriend. Man! I've had enough of this. Uh, and so he leaves. He also leaves... Peace! He also leaves this behind. Yikes! I feel like I did something totally brutal. He leaves this behind. Well, Mario, why don't you take this as a reward for, reward for dealing with that guy? Um, you're carrying too many things at the moment. Why don't you just take care of your inventory and then pick it up? Boobers! Now let's get moving. <laughs> I got the trouble done. So yeah, the, the reward for that trouble is that item right there. But what can I drop? How about this? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Alright, let's get this and end the trouble. It's a couple's cake. Food that slowly spills HP and you can't eat it alone. So it's for both you and your partner. It's similar to a slow shroom, except it recovers you and your partner's HP uh, slowly as well. Alright, and with that, I am going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Whew, that was a lot of side questing.